So many people say that they don't know what good art is. They don't know what to look for. I think a lot of that is because um, in the last century, there were so many bullshit artists that were telling people, uh, this is really great art, and they would look at it. Uh, the average person would say, oh my God, that looks horrible to me. They wouldn't say that, they'd be too polite to say that, but instead they would say, gee, I don't, I don't know what really good art is. And that is just not true. Good art is something that you look at and you like. It's personal. Uh, that person looks at it and says, oh, geez, I like that. So many people from the past century have, uh, have said, and even today, will say, this is a wonderful piece of art. And uh, I mean, if they like it so much, let them hang it on their wall. Uh, what they should be looking for is uh, the end result. What does it look like? And like I said, it's personal. Do you love it? Do you like it? Um, what does it do to you? Uh, when I paint, I try to uh, paint something really wonderful that somebody will look at and say, man, that is great. That is fantastic. That's what I'm striving for. One of the things that I did was I uh, decided to do small paintings. I wanted to make it affordable for anyone. So somebody can come to my gallery and if they really love my work and want to own a piece of my work, they can. And uh, I've got a lot of uh, serious canvases in here that, uh, to be very frank, um, uh, it's an investment for me. I've been painting for 40 years and I want to uh, get a good price for these. Uh, if I do make a name for myself, uh, some of them are priced accordingly. That uh, you're going to have to have, uh, you're going to be able, have to be able to afford it. Many times when I have explained the process, um, people have the idea that a real artist just throws the paint on a blank canvas. I mean, you have a ballerina or, or a musician or an actor who will Practice, 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 practice. Obviously, to learn how to play something uh, beautifully, professionally. And yet, like I say, there are those people who think that you start with a blank canvas and just throw the, the paint on there. Um, I have always studied my canvas and every spec has been decided. And in the end, what I try to do is make it look like I've captured a moment. So it's not static, it, it lives, it breathes. Uh, the kind of work that I do, it's always been uh, inspired. I've always painted exactly what I have wanted to paint. Um, I'll paint something realistic. I'll paint something um, modern. Uh, I'll paint an abstract. And the abstract is the hardest thing to do because it is uh, very conceptual. It's like, well, does this work? Does this work? Try this, try that. Uh, and um, right now, I am very into um, what I call modern paintings. I love playing with the colors and uh, the, uh, the texture, uh, just making some, simplifying something, um, uh, abstracting it. My gallery is uh, here in my home and uh, I enjoy people coming here to see the work.